Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit. I am Architect Sonurai from Gladys Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to work from Revit to Photoshop. So I will uh, teach you how to work in 3D and both floor plans, how you can use uh, both the things 2D and 3D. So suppose this is my 3D scene, this is just a simple with basic materials in Revit and if you want to improve in Photoshop you can do this so I am going to um, first uh, render this and I will go to rendering dialog box and you can click uh, render after using and uh, this uh, <coughs> medium or high button suppose I am going to use medium here and you can use a high also but it will take more time so i am going to use uh, 75 dpi in printer and exterior sun and artificial i am going to use exterior sun only and i am going to use sky uh, no clouds here and you can also adjust exposure and now i am going to uh, render this and you can see the progress so we can see uh, the rendering progress on the upper left and you can see this is rendered here and uh, this is uh, in the less resolution if you want you can use higher value here i'm going to use uh, 150 dpi and now we'll render again and we'll see So now you can see uh, this image is uh, more improved so you can increase uh, dpi so your image will be improved but since it will take more time so i am going to show you in 150 dpi only you can increase the higher value 300 dpi and 600 dpi for your presentation so now i'm going to open this in photoshop so i'm going to open my photoshop here so i'm using Photoshop 2025 and I will show how you can improve this so now I am going to uh, first use this eraser tool magic eraser tool and I will uh, remove this background here and now I am going to use a sky background and i will drag and drop this sky background here you can download uh, sdrmi and i'm going to increase the size here and i will bring it drop uh, down here and now you can see this is our sky background do your uh, topography so you can simply uh, use magic wand tool and i am going to draw a topography this is just to make you familiar how you can use photoshop and we'll draw some grass here so this is uh, a new layer you can click this plus icon here and create a new layer here and you can re rename this as a grass and now i'm going to use any color here you have to go to grass layer and then you can apply this paint here for timing and now i will uh, go to grass texture i have downloaded and i will open this with photoshop so this is our grass texture here and now you can click open and you can go to edit and then you can select define pattern and click ok and after this uh, you can close this and now you can go to grass here and right click here blending option in the grass layer and you can go to pattern overlay and now we'll see our grass texture here so this is our grass texture can increase the scale here 
and you can increase the opacity and scale so you have put some grass now we can uh, put some trees if you want to present to your client you can download some png tree here png tree elevation so suppose i am going to download this in a free png tree so i am going to download this so likewise you can use i am going to directly drag and drop into this so uh, this is applied here you can adjust the size here and finish ok so this is our tree and you can play with some shadows here you can use drop shadow here you see the difference here drop shadow and you can increase or decrease the size here you can give some shadow depth and now you can uh, copy this by pressing alt and you can bring this here press ctrl t adjust the scale and show this you can use different trees here and you can again press alt and so likewise you can make pathways roads and you can save your time if you know the photoshop you can use different better sky background here so this is way can work and also you can improve by going to adjustment here you can increase the brightness of your image you can play with contrast and in the end you can go to image size you can improve the uh, resolution here so suppose i want 300 resolution so it will become more better here and now you can see your image is more clear and uh, can save a lot of time so likewise you can do better rendering and save time by using photoshop